Mouse Control at Highland Hill Farm. Hello, my name is Mike Hurst, and we are at our greenhouses at Highland Hill Farm. And one big problem that we have is that during the winter time, we have lots of damage that mice do to our plants. We counteract these damages by uh, putting rat poison out and trying to hurt the mice. And the reason we want to hurt the mice is that when mice get into the greenhouse, they usually gnaw on our trees because their teeth constantly grow and they, they chew on wood. And it just so happens that the only thing in here to chew on is our little trees. And they usually chew on it at the roots, at the root zone or at the root flare of the tree. And what happens is the tree gets girdled and then dies. We don't always see the death until the spring, but usually you can tell which ones they are because the mouse, when the tree goes in there, they usually get a little bit crooked to the side because when they, they go into the pot, they make a big burrow and that, burr, that hole, what happens is it sometimes collapses and the tree kind of leans over a little bit. So you can tell which ones they are and which ones are not. And uh, another reason we don't like mice is a lot of the field mice, they, are, they like pack rats. They just, they, they collect things. And one thing they collect is they collect seeds. When they collect seeds, they usually bring them into their burrow, which is in these pots, and that's where the seeds are. And in the springtime, they germinate, and we have weeds in our greenhouse again, unfortunate. So we don't really like mice, and we put rat poison out all the time. And we put rat poison out in different forms. We, uh, we usually go with the gr uh, granular type, and we put the granular type inside egg cartons so that the birds don't eat them. And we want to put them in places where the water doesn't get to them so they don't mush up and actually can still be eaten. And that's what we do at Highland Hill Farm. Thank you. At Highland Hill Farm, we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian, Black Hill spruce, black spruce. We also have some firs such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees such as white pine, Norway spruce. We also sell a whole range of arborvitas in many different sizes from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bald and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. We also have southwestern white pine, and we are noted for our green giant arborvitas and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high, along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar. In the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, blackhall viburnums, a whole range of viburnums dogwoods, red twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, Peking lilacs. We also have nana berry, nine bark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide range of trees and shrubs, including winterberry holly. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plan.